what's up beauty bosses welcome back to my channel asia here and i am back with another video so i get this question a lot i want to answer it for you guys um and i felt like doing a video was probably the best way to get this message out um i am going to be talking about things that you need to get started influencing being a content creator being on youtube um i'm going to kind of cover what has worked for me um and i just want to share that with you guys because again like i said i do get that a lot um before we do get started though i'm gonna ask you guys to like share subscribe don't forget to hit the little bell so you don't miss any updates from me and with that being said let's get rolling so little backstory i started doing content creation back in like 2017. um i have kind of tried almost everything I feel like. I'm sure I haven't, but I just feel like I've tried a lot of things. I have done blogging. I have sold items. I have done YouTube. I have done videos on Instagram, Reels. I've done TikTok. I've done things on Facebook. Um, I have kind of tested out a lot of things. I have reached out to tons of people wanting to collab with them and do promotional products for them and influence for them, be an ambassador for places. Um, and some of the things that I have learned is this avenue of work is a very interesting one. So uh, truth be told is everybody's not going to get into ambassadors and influencers and things like that. Like it just, if it was that easy, everybody would be quitting their jobs and doing this full time consistently, no holds bars. Like this would be something that most people would do. If it was guaranteeing you tons of gigs, you know, secured income, steady income, truly everybody would be doing it. And I feel like we kind of seen that in the height of COVID and being on lockdown, quarantine, you know, everybody was on YouTube, everybody was starting channels, everybody was on Instagram, you know, they were posting these reels and Instagram was paying you for those. Um, and so I've kind of watched everything kind of like in and out, ebb and flow. And, um, I just wanted to jump on because I have gotten, you know, when I tell people that this is something that I do, I get a lot of questions on, well, how did you start? Or how do you know what products to post? Or who do you, how do you reach out to people? Or, you know, I would really love for you to show me how you get started, especially on YouTube. So I'm just going to kind of give you guys a couple of things that I have learned and done and have attributed to my success um, in, in this realm. So with that being said, number one, most people say you need like a camera, but I film everything literally from my iPhone. Like I, everything that you guys have seen, I am filming it from my iPhone on a stand with a ring light and, and a beautiful background. So to me, I feel like aesthetically pleasing and having good lighting are two things that are going to take you very far. Like you have to have good lighting and aesthetically pleasing images, backgrounds, your home, things like that. Now, I'm going to piggyback off of that. You don't have to have like a full on like mega celebrity type home. You just have to have one corner of your house that you can film in that is pretty, that is decent, that is clean. And for that, and you choose that corner and you just take off from there and you just post all of your videos from there, that is aesthetically pleasing. Like it does not have to be, like I said, mega rich and super lavish for it to be aesthetically pleasing. It just has to catch the eye of the viewer and they have to keep wanting to come back to your videos to watch that. So that is something that I have learned through this process. Um, so you're gonna need a good phone. That's the first thing, good camera, good lighting. So number two is you're gonna need like a good ring light. I would say one that's pretty big, um, but I have like three or four different ring lights because I have one for when I travel, one in another room, one in this room. I have different light bulbs set up. Um, I do a lot of good lighting. So I feel like that is going to amplify and magnify you, your products, whatever you're trying to sell. And it is going hand in hand with being aesthetically pleasing. 
Now, the next thing is you are going to want to invest in some good iMovie or Filmora or I, I don't know any other, I know that those are two of the major ones. Um, so we'll just start there. Um, those two are film editing software. Those things, if you have a MacBook, you know iMovie comes with it. That is how I edit all of my videos, but I know that if you pay for Filmora, you get a lot more as far as like animations, um, and they have a lot more perks than iMovie. iMovie, I would say if you're just starting out and wanting to get started, iMovie is probably the best option for you. It's very easy to use, it's simple, and it does come on your MacBook if you have that. So, going to want to get some film editing software. That is very very important another thing that i've learned is is you want to be consistent now i can't really say that i'm that consistent but it's worked for me in some ways um but i do know that you have to create a lot of content to get rolling like you have to stay in that algorithm you have to stay in that realm you have to build people so i feel like the more that you post on any outlet like you can choose one outlet that you just post on consistently but the more you post on that outlet i notice that they will promote your videos like more people will start to see them they'll start to push them into the algorithm better um that is very important so you're going to want to stay consistent as a beginner because that is how you're going to get seen. The more you get seen, the more people will follow, the more people will like, the more that brands will reach out. So that is another important thing. Um, I would also say keeping a journal, like keep a journal of all the ideas that you see from other people, um, ideas that you get off of like Pinterest, um, anything that you are researching. I would keep a journal because I know that a lot of content comes to me at random times. And if I don't write it down or take note of it, I am going to forget it. And then I'm going to be looking crazy when it's time to film something because I'm like, I don't even know what it was that I was supposed to film because I just totally forgot. So that is something that is also very important. And also, I mean, I feel like this is pretty obvious, but look to other people who are doing what you want to be doing. Look at those people who are in those spaces. You know, I know that a lot of people who are successful in doing things, they don't take the time really to answer those questions about how they got started, what they're using, you know, how, how that's working for them. Um, but look and try to get into as much of their lives and what they're doing as possible, just because that gives you some kind of idea and it also gives you content. So when I was getting into this, I looked at a lot of makeup people um, who did makeup. Now I am not like a makeup artist, even though I was watching makeup artists do their thing, I did notice that they did take a break sometimes from makeup and start showing their life and showing what they're doing, how they're filming. I, I'm really like when I get into something and when I'm fascinated by something, I like stalk it. So I want to know what you're doing from the time you get up to the time you go to bed. Like, and I'm going to stalk your stories. I'm going to stalk your videos. I'm going to stalk your content. I am just going to stalk it all so that I can get into that. It gets me motivated. It gets me excited and it gets me pumped to to do what I do so those are just a couple of things um, that I can think of off the top of my head that I know for sure that it has helped me get into it and stay into it again it does not take a lot to start doing content you know it does require some money if you're wanting to do a lot of unboxings but if you have a message to share and you just want to jump on and you want to share that message do it just get on get you know video record yourself get some good lighting get in front of something really nice it could even be a white wall you just as long as you are starting the process and as long as you are rolling and getting on the ball with the process you can't lose you know if it's almost like you know when you're putting that action forth the universe is pairing it with you and they are putting you in front of the right people they are getting you out there they're giving you content they're giving you motivation and it all just comes together very beautifully so 
I felt like that was an important message to share. I know that as I'm going on about my days, I will realize more things um, and I will drop them in the show notes or in the comments if I think of those things or I will jump back on and give you guys another video about other things about getting started. But my main thing is just to get started. It does not have to be the best. You don't have to buy the best equipment, best camera, microphones. I don't do microphones at all. Like I've never had a microphone in any of this time that I have been doing this and my videos are clear. I have found a space in my home that's pretty noise proof that allows my voice to come through. I jump in front of this camera and this ring light and I just make it happen. So I just want you to know that it is possible. It does not take a lot. You just have to get started and start from somewhere. So I wanted to share that because I got that question again and I get that a lot. So I wanted to jump on and just share it with the masses. Whoever it touches, it touches. And that is just what it is. So thank you guys for being here, listening to this. I ask that you like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all of my socials. That is Asia Ray Cosmetics. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.